Hi and welcome to the 14th stage of this year's Tour de France. It's the third and last day in the Pyrenees before Montpellier and then a rest day. But today we will be going from saint Judon to Plateau de Bay. It's six categorized climbs with a mountain top finish up to Plateau de Bay. The climb up to Mont Plateau de Bay is 15.8 kilometers long with an average slope of 7.9%. My name is Dick Anderson and as always by my side our expert commentator Jim Jones. And as always, we start our broadcast off with some recap footage. And here we got some pictures from the start today. And we got a breakaway. It was David Mukutier from Kofris who initiated the breakaway. He got with him Anthony Charteau from Eurocar, Inglinski from Astana and Adi Engels from Quickstep. And also throughout the day it got uh, more and more small groups breaking away from the peloton. In one of the group was Matthew Goss from HTC. No one uh, managed to get up to um, David Moncoutier, Anthony Chorteau and Iglinski. And over the first climb it was David Moncoutier who captured 5 points and behind him came Chateau, Iglinski and then Engels. After the first climb Yori Trofimo from Katusha attacked from the peloton and started the chase up to the first group. And on the second climb of the day it was David Moncoutier again being the first over the top. Behind him came Chateau, Iglinski and then the chasing Trofimo. And on the third climb of the day it was David Moncoutier again being the first one over. Behind him came Anthony Jarteau and behind him Iglinski from Astana. At this point Trofimo has uh, slightened the gap but not even close to catching up to the first group. And on the fourth climb of the day it was Moncoutier again in front of Chateau and Inglinski. Trofimo still chasing got four points. And on the fifth climb it was David Moncoutier in front of Iglinski then Chateau. Only two and one points were handed out. Now it's time to end our recap footage and tune in live on today's stage of the Tour de France. Brought to you by PCM Norway Productions. Hi and welcome back to the 14th stage to Plateau de Bay and uh, Jim, 40 kilometers left for the first group. Uh, the chasers behind them um, not looking like uh, they are going to catch up and the peloton over 11 minutes behind. Uh, Jim, is this the stage for the breakaway? Well, this is definitely a stage for the breakaway. Um, I'm pretty sure they will... Uh Get the win. <laughs> yeah, get the win. <laughs> yeah, and uh, David Munkudia has initiated the, the breakaway at the beginning, and he's also been the first over every mountain. He's really uh, aiming uh, for that King of the Mountain jersey now, and uh, if he gets the stage win, he gets 40 points. That will bring him up a total of 127. That's more than double of what Roman Kreuziger uh, will will have after after the stage, uh, seeing as. Uh, he maybe not will get the top five spot then, but uh, at the at the foot of Plateau de Bay now, who will get the stage win among the three riders at the front there? Well, um, on the paper, David Moncoutier should be uh, David Moncoutier should yeah, be the yeah. best uh, the best climber, um, and I don't think uh, Chateau can yeah. be much. Um, yeah, Chateau uh, struggled at um, at <laughs> at uh, the last climb, and he is now getting dropped from the first group. It's going to be among Iglinski and David Moncoutier if uh, Chateau is not able to recover and uh, get back to that group. But uh, it's uh, the climb up to Plateau de Bay. It's over 15 kilometers long with an average slope of 7.9%. Uh, could this be the, the day where the favorites are attacking like crazy on each other, trying to, trying to put time in uh, each other's pockets? Or is it too early seeing that we are still in the Pyrenees and the second week? Uh, well, riders like the Schlett brothers, um, who are very good in mountains, but not too good on their time trial, they should try to gain, gain time to them. Uh, riders like Cat Evans, um, Contador has also turned into a really good time trialist. Um, Levi Leipheimer, Chris Horner, yeah. riders like that. Yeah, Levi Leipheimer out of the general classification. Uh, could this be a, what can I say, a bad day <laughs> for Chris Horner and maybe even Bradley Wiggins? Seeing as they are not uh, the best climbers, as we can see that David Moncoutier has left Michael Inglinski 
from Astana uh, in the in the dust there. Uh, Jim, David Mukutia for the stage win. Yeah, he will definitely win the stage now. He's looking pretty good, and uh, he will wear the mountain jersey tomorrow. And uh, I think uh, John Gadre will have to attack really hard in the Alps, but he's he will definitely be the king of the Alps, John Gadre. <laughs> just, yeah. just you wait and see. <laughs> yeah, you still like uh, John Gadre even. Um, even uh, well, with he him came second yesterday. Yeah, even with him not being in the breakaway. But could he survive a climb like this, being with the best? Well, maybe he would be the best French rider after Moncoutier. Uh, but I don't think you can expect him to be in uh, the top 10. Yeah, the okay, seconds. okay. The peloton are 8 minutes, 24 seconds behind David Moncoutier. This might be the day for David Moncoutier, the, um, the flying Frenchman. <laughs> the flying Frenchman, his new nickname. And uh, Jim, the peloton are getting slimmer and slimmer by every turn of the pedal. It's uh, Leopard Track and BMC doing the pacing up front. Andy Schlack is up there trying to defend his uh, leader, leader's jersey. Not having too much problems right now though. But all these um, turns uh, can make can really put some, um, what can I say, some, some stiffs into your legs. Because you have to slow down and then accelerate again. Or, uh, or what's what's your take on that? Uh, well, um, you have to do that, of course. But I think it, uh, these guys are in a rhythm, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> they've ridden these uh, these mountains before. Uh, they know how to climb these uh, these mountains. So uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure they're used to accelerate in the in the corners. To be honest. Yeah, and uh, Ivan Basso is up at the front there with uh, Chris Horner. Andy Schleck is also up there. I'm starting to. Uh, kind of get a little bit eager now Jim I want some attacks yeah and um, what can I say I'm impressed by Chris Horner he's showing a really good shape and uh, I think he wants to be on the, on the podium, podium yeah. in Tour de France <laughs> yeah after he got he has gotten the kind of uh, the leader role at the Radio Shack he's really rising to the occasion so um, yeah we're just following the peloton here now we're waiting for some action who do you think will attack first Jim um, an aggressive rider you know Cantador he's lost a lot of time yeah, with um, during this, with, yeah. yeah, with the crash and everything. So he will definitely have to attack today. Um, yeah, David so, Mukutia so keeping <laughs> keeping his pace at least. So he's riding strong for the victory and the king of the mountain jersey. We all know that now, but um, we want to see what's happen happening in the peloton. We want to see some attacks. Yeah, uh, but what about you know riders? Uh, they're not used. <laughs> Just I have to cut you off there, Jim. Ivan Basso, Ryder Hashidal are attacking from the peloton. We just talked about Ivan Basso being a temple climber. He's not attacking for too long as uh, Contador are bridging the gap and going straight by Ivan Basso. And Bradley Wiggins is also attacking, showing uh, his great form from uh, the Dauphiné Libre. Nope, just Dauphiné. It's no longer the Libre, actually. And uh, Chris Horner is there as well, Jim. Chris Horner. <laughs> yeah, Chris Horner. Go, Chris, go. <laughs> <laughs> and what about Andy Schleck? He should... Uh... There he is. There he is. <laughs> Speaking at the corner, of the <laughs> speaking of the devil, at the corners of your screen, and uh, David Munkutia, I just have to say, chapeau to him. Chapeau, chapeau. He will get uh, his first stage win uh, this year, and will suit up with the King of the Mountain jersey tomorrow. Yeah, and that's a huge success for <laughs> the Cavaliers team. <laughs> yeah, as the cameraman almost crashed at the at the end there. Congratulations, David Munkutia, a strong ride by him, and the congratulations, Cavaliers, as uh, Ivan Basso and Alberto Contador are leaving everybody in the dust. Except Andy Schleck, he's right there trying to bridge that gap. But where are all the others? Where's Jürgen van den Broek, Bradley Wiggins, Chris Horner and, and all the others? Oh, Chris Horner is just behind there, I think. Or is it Cat Evans? I think it's Cat Evans trying to bridge the gap. Samuel Chantez. Sanchez? <laughs> Sanchez? Yeah, it's Sanchez. He's uh, trying to bridge the gap. But it's looking like this is going to be Contador's big day. He's showing his strength. He's showing his form. And he will get uh, second uh, in front of Ivan Basso, Andy Schleck. And who will be fifth? Ah, impossible to see. I think it was Robert Gesink. Yeah, it was Robert Gesink. Uh, so, Jim, we got some action, but not really the biggest time gaps. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed, but um, we have to wait till we still got the Alps left. And yeah. we will definitely see some attack from uh, from Andy Schleck, because he's only a minute or something in front of Cat Evans. Yeah. And uh, he will easily gain uh, that on the, on the time trial. So we'll, he will definitely have to leave Cat Evans back in the dust. Yeah, we just have to hope that he actually will try, so we can get some action. And um, all the others are assumingly better than him on uh, on time trial. Could that make a difference for him in the Alps? His mindset? Will he be on the attack or defensively, considering he already has the yellow jersey? Well, usually you don't see uh, a yellow jersey rider attack, but um, maybe Andy Schleck will do that. 
Tomorrow's Montpellier, then it's the rest day where we, you, you will hear more from Doddy and Sporting Nonsense. And of course, uh, both of us, Mo Jim Jones and Dick Henderson. Maybe others. Yeah, maybe others. On behalf of PCM Nova Productions, thank you very much for watching. Arrivederci! He yeah. will be happy. Five hours, six minutes and 27 seconds he has uh, been using at this climb.